Lucretia Mott. Lucretia Mott was born into a Quaker family on January 3, 1793 in Nantucket Island, Massachusetts. She was the second child of Thomas Coffin Jr. and Anna Folger Coffin. As a child, Lucretia was very intelligent and she would always help her mother around the house when she was not in school. Because girls had less opportunity to attend school, Lucretia was sent to Nine Partners, a Quaker boarding school in Dutchess County, New York. Lucretia met James Mott Sr. during her studies at Nine Partners. After she completed all her classes in 1808, her relationship with James Mott Sr. blossomed. They were wed on April 10, 1811. They moved to Philadelphia, and it was in 1818 at the 12th Street meeting that she finally voiced her opinion. After many inspiring speeches, she gained formal recognition as a Quaker minister. Her next goal was slavery. On December 5th, Lucretia attended a convention in Philadelphia dedicated to the formation of the American Anti-Slavery Society. However, she wanted to do something more for women. On December 9, 1833, she and approximately 30 other women met at a schoolhouse to form the Philadelphia Female Anti-Slavery Society. After endless battles between the ideas of slavery, Lucretia and James were asked to serve as delegates to the First World Anti-Slavery Convention in London, England, in May 1840. Lucretia then visited Washington, D.C. to talk to President John Tyler, 40 U.S. congressmen, and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson about slavery. After she and her mother became sick with influenza and after her mother died, she began to look into women's rights. Lucretia met with Elizabeth Cady Stanton Mary Ann McClintock and Jane Hunt, and they decided to place an ad into the newspaper to announce of a convention for women. The convention occurred on July 19th and July 20th, 1848 in Tanuka Falls, New York. At the end of the convention, 100 people in attendance signed the Declaration of Sentiment. Lucretia Mott later spoke at the Second Women's Rights Convention. She also issued her own formal speech, Discourse on Woman, in rebuttal to Richard Henry Dana Sr.'s An Address on Woman. She later spoke at the National Women's Rights Convention. After the 14th and 15th Amendment were passed, women still could not vote. Sadly, Lucretia Mott died before she could fight for what was right. Lucretia Mott died on November 2, 1880, at the age of 87. She was buried next to James, who died on January 26, 1868. They were buried at the Fair Hill Burial Grounds in North Philadelphia.